Atlas II has a unique stabilization system which allows the pilot to effortlessly hover near objects while performing inspections. However, there are some limitations to this system that every pilot must be aware of. In this video, you will learn about these limitations and how to deal with them. As GPS positioning is too unreliable indoors, Ilios II uses several optical sensors placed around the drone. These scan the movement of nearby objects, allowing the drone to remain stable with respect to its surroundings. There are sensor units in seven locations on the drone. Three are integrated in the payload on the front, and one is placed on each motor arm. Each sensor unit contains a distance sensor and a motion sensor. The distance sensors measure the distance to nearby objects or walls using pulses of infrared light. Its maximum range in ideal conditions is 3 meters. This range is further reduced by dust, direct sunlight and dark surfaces. The motion sensors measure the rate at which the drone moves with respect to its surroundings. These are basically small video cameras and in a well-lit environment these have no range limit. However, in a dark environment they rely on the drone's onboard lighting. Their effectiveness is reduced by dust, uniform and featureless surfaces, and reflective surfaces. The default control mode is assist mode, where the drone uses the sensor data to hover in one place. Any pilot inputs will directly control the speed of the drone. When moving out of sensor range, the drone will automatically switch to attitude mode, where the sensor data is ignored and the pilot directly controls the attitude angle of the drone. The current control mode is indicated on the cockpit display. Note how the drone automatically switches back to assist mode as soon as it comes in range of a new object. In some situations, this automatic switch will not occur. For example, in extremely dusty environments, both the distance sensors and the motion sensors will provide false information to the drone, causing erratic flight behavior. This may occur due to dust, dirty sensors, and reflective and featureless surfaces such as uniformly painted walls. Typically, the effect on the flight behavior is a controllable yet annoying jerk or a persistent drift. An extreme example is shown here, where a combination of a thick dust cloud and an impact with a wall causes the drone to spin out of control. The cockpit display shows how the drone stayed in the assist control mode throughout the event and was trying to stabilize itself using sensor data rendered inaccurate due to the dust cloud. However, the maximum collision speed of the cage was not exceeded. To prevent erratic flight behavior due to false sensor signals, manually switch to attitude control mode in dusty or featureless environments and inspect and clean all sensors before every flight. The flight control mode can be manually set by either using the switch on the top left hand side of the control unit or by pressing and holding the switch on the bottom right hand side of the control unit. Flying in ATI mode does not significantly change the flight behavior or collision tolerance, the most noticeable difference being that the pilot must make small corrections to keep the drone in one place. We recommend you spend time using this mode in a controlled environment. In dusty environments, the sensors can get covered in a layer of dust in a single flight, which drastically reduces their effectiveness. Inspect them after every flight and clean them if necessary. Remember that the stabilization system works best near objects. Plan your flight to stay near high texture surfaces and be ready to manually switch to the ATI flight mode when flying through dust or large open spaces.